I just wanted to take the opportunity today to talk to you about how to take the carpentry workshops online, uh, which are basic programming um, workshops, which we held physically at the TU Delft since 2018. Uh, but surprise, surprise, in 2020, we had to take them online with absolutely no experience doing that. Uh, so if you are thinking about taking your workshops online and you haven't done that yet, uh, please come and have a chat. Uh, we have been hosting a genomics uh, workshop, a social science workshop, uh, the regular, uh, so to say, software carpentry workshops uh, with a focus on Python. Um, about six workshops now uh, since uh, we had to help, uh, hold them online. Uh, and we had uh, 20 to 27 learners per workshop. And it came down to having two to three instructors, uh, one helper per approximately five participants, uh, which seems a bit like an overkill, but if beginners get stuck and you can't really help them uh, by being right next to them, it's actually quite challenging to help them get unstuck. Uh, so that's why we had a lot of helpers. Uh, and it also helps with interaction during an online workshops. Uh, so yeah, it seems a bit like an overkill, but it does really help. Um, we also had one code documenter uh, and one Zoom DJ, uh, which would mostly be me uh, trying to keep everything uh, going and running. Uh, and one important note, which I also wanted to share is that it's better to not do this uh, in two full days, uh, but split it over mornings or afternoons, uh, because Zoom fatigue is an actual thing. Uh, I think these are the tips that I wanted to share with you. And if you have any experience or not at all, please come and have a chat so that we can exchange experiences. Thanks.